Welcome to Grand Sumo Breakdown. This is Ryan. This is Jake. And this is just going to be a very quick episode as a guide for what people can expect from us as we are reporting on the Not So Basho. Uh, so we're recording this in advance of turning on our super advanced computer simulation. Lots of math. Yeah. W- once you turn that thing on, you you can't hit pause. It just runs for like three, four weeks straight and you can't turn it off. Yeah, it's just kind of sitting there humming loudly in my basement and it kind of jiggles the floors a little bit and I don't really want to go near it until I have to. Yeah, I know it's causing a lot of problems with you and Katie in your marriage right now. So hopefully you can work Absolutely. through these hard times. And, and since, I mean, we're recording this a few days ahead of time. So this is just like the pre-calculation. Once it actually gets going, who knows? Oh, yeah, it's you're going to have problems with your neighborhood association. And uh, my home's structural integrity, I think. Mm-hmm. A- as a construction engineer, I can confirm that. <laughs> you may be asking yourself where are Flarick and Mac. Uh it, this is just going to be like 5 to 10 minute episode. We we didn't need to bother them. They're they're doing more important things. Yes, lots of uh spreadsheets and calculations on their own. All right, Jake, that's enough of us rambling back and forth. So let's talk about what people can expect to see from us and the Tachi I blog as we go through the not so basho simulation. So every day on Twitter and on Reddit, we are going to release an updated Torikumi with the results from the previous day's matches and then the matches that are going to be happening the next day. Uh, we're also going to upload two versions of the Bonds K, one where it's showing everybody in order of their rank and what their record is, and then we're going to show another one where it is sorted in order of their record. Yeah, so you can view the the leaderboard on any given day. Exactly. And then we are also going to include a link to a full spreadsheet for those people who really want to dive in and see what's happening. Uh, so the spreadsheet is going to have tabs to show the full Torikumi every single day that has happened up to that point. Uh, the Bonds K, so you can see the standings. And exclusively in this full spreadsheet, we will have a different little setup, a little, little table for each individual Rikshi so you can see their results for the tournament. You'll be able to see who they fought on each day of the tournament, if they won or lost that match, and the winning Kimarite that was used in that match. And since we didn't really feel like posting 42 extra screenshots every day, we're just <laughs> going to leave this in the spreadsheet for people who want to go in and take a look at how... Uh, how each guy has performed more specifically than just wins and losses. Right. There's not going to be any information you can't glean from the other two documents. This is just going to be if you really want to see how one guy has been doing. And I feel like we need to give a shout out to fifth member and often absent member of the podcast, uh, Sumo Database, because we basically just ripped off how they present the data. Yeah. (laughs) Sumo database, who's actually taking this Basho off uh, just by pure coincidence. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with Sumo database and how they present winners and losers, uh, it's usually like a white dot represents a match that Arikshi won and a black dot represents a match that Arikshi lost. So we will, you will be say seeing that same theme in the results that we send out, but with brand new special Google sheets, colors, I guess. Yeah, exactly. We 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 brought super pretty. We brought new colors to the dynamic. We're changing the game. Yep. Grand Sumo Breakdown always innovating. Yes. And we are still so very pleased as punch to say that Tachi I is going to be reporting on the not so basho and providing preview commentary for every day's matches and recap commentary on the matches themselves. So you can follow the Tachi I blog on Twitter, just visit their website. However you want to follow Tachi I blog to find all of those results. I'm sure on Twitter, we will be retweeting everything that they put out just so everybody can see. You can see the matches, you can see the results, but you go to Tachi I to find out how those results happened. Yeah, a little bit more of the qualitative results. Yeah. About how good each guy did or like, you know, what what match was particularly exciting or things like that. Exactly. Uh, Jake, why don't you tell everybody what they are going to be seeing on Instagram and our blog? Uh, Instagram, we're not going to be posting pictures every day. Uh, One that would be kind of annoying to post every single thing in every single place. Uh, But also the formatting doesn't really work on Instagram. We'll probably just uh, for the most part, we'll be announcing when certain things are coming out. 
uh, such as our podcast episodes. Uh, we'll be sending out periodic snapshots of the leaderboard or if there are any other particularly interesting results. Uh, just keep an eye out there. We'll, we'll, there's, there's not a whole lot of visual content that comes out of the simulation machine, but we'll, uh, we'll post what we can if there's anything fun. Uh, also, the blog is going to basically carry the same uh, information as Twitter, um, but Twitter kind of, you know, it can sometimes be difficult to sort through past tweets. So the blog, maybe if you prefer, that's a better spot. If you just want to see everything sequentially, there will be a post every day there. Uh, we'll maybe toss in a little bit of uh, brief commentary as just like, you know, a summary of the day, but nothing, you know, Tachia is the real place if you if you want to hear the, uh, like I said, the qualitative stuff. Yes. And if you want to see a video of four men making fools of themselves, we do have a preview video for the Not So Basho that was written, produced, and all around just done everything with by the wonderful Jonathan Wagner, Mr. J Wags, uh, put that together for us. So thank you to him and check out that video on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure by this point we have already sent out it on Twitter and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, as an accomplished actor, the one thing that he didn't do for the video was the actual acting. He left that to us. And I feel like that, that may be something we look back on with regret. <laughs> I look, forward to it with regret <laughs> so in addition to all of those things we are also going to be doing our typical podcast well not necessarily typical we're going to be doing two midway recap episodes instead of just the one so at the day five point we're gonna stop down and just recap all of the action and once again the simulator is gonna be on we're gonna we're not gonna be talking as if it's a simulation we're gonna be talking as if the basho has happened and so we're going to do that at day five recap that action preview what we think is going to be happening in the next 10 days and we'll do the same thing at day 10 recap the action between days six and ten and really get to figuring out who we think is going to win the not so basho and then after the basho concludes we're going to be doing our full normal recap that we usually would do uh we're planning on doing a math episode where it's just going to be talking about what went into the simulation how did we come up with the math to figure out who is going to win each match and that's really i feel like going to be jake's time to shine <laughs> yeah that one uh that one won't be posted until we exit the twilight zone uh everything else to borrow a term from pro wrestling will be in the mode of kayfabe you know, we will be fully, fully immersed in it as a real Basho. But um, once once we're out of it, then we can talk about how we actually programmed our machine. And uh, hopefully if my house is still standing, I'll be able to explain to you guys how it all worked. Yeah. And we mentioned that the machine's going to be running for three to four weeks and a tournament's only two weeks. You might be wondering why that is. Well, we need an additional week at the beginning so that we can do the preview episode in the simulation. Then we're going to need a week afterwards because we're going to actually do a Bonds K preview based on the results of the not so Basho. So there's going to be a little bit of time in before and after that the simulation is still running. Uh, we might do some additional content as we get inspired just throughout the tournament to record some extra things. Uh, it's a little bit of a work in progress. Don't know about that yet, but for sure, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out so that you can better follow this Basho that you can't actually see. Yep. Just wanted to make sure that we filled as much of the time as we could because this Basho is leaving a pretty big void. Yes. So as we mentioned, just a quick schedule for everybody. We're recording this about a week ahead of time uh, before we turn the simulator on. But this but you'll be actually listening to this episode the mon this morning of Sunday, May 24th, when we release the results of the first day of the tournament. And then we're going to have those results daily up until June 7th, the final day. Uh, so the recap will be within a few days of Senshiraku or the final day of the tournament. And other than that, just enjoy the fake sumo that we are offering uh, it was really fun for us to set up the simulator we hope it's going to be fun for all of us except for jake living in the simulator house uh it'll be fun going through it and i hope everybody has as much fun as we did putting it together yep and a uh, moment of silence for my electric bill moment completed so 
If you enjoy this podcast, you can leave us a five-star review. Check us out on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all Grand Sumo Breakdown. Yep, our blog will have brief results, as we mentioned. You can also give us a call at 805-613-SUMO. That's 805-613-7866. Leave us your thoughts, and uh, if you are sending us messages after the tournament has begun, you will be dealing with us in our artificial intelligence states of the Basho being real. Yes, uh, a higher state of being. Yeah, yeah, uh, a state I hope to live in permanently once we get all the kinks ironed. Sumo. You get your friends together and you fake some sumo. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah. It's the not so, not so basho. Not so basho, basho, yeah, yeah. Not so, not so basho. Not so basho, yeah.